Now, normally when truck drivers get fired from jobs, it's usually for the most egregious of reasons. Whether you failed a drug test, you dropped a trailer, you had an accident, or just utter insure incompetence. But in the case of this truck driver right here, chasing Andrew Jackson, also known as Justin Frazier, he was fired for the most outrageous of things. I got sent home today by the regional manager. My manager sent me home today, sent my butt packing. So for those of you who don't know, Andrew was a fuel hauler based out of Nashville, Tennessee. He never actually disclosed which company he works for, and we'll get to that later, but I do know that fuel haulers are in very much high demand, especially in populous cities, and he had to go through a series of interviews before he was finally given that position. And those jobs are in high demand given the fact that they pay hourly with overtime, which is something that is a rarity in trucking. And honestly, there should be a push for truck drivers to receive hourly pay with overtime. However, the common argument against that is lack of efficiency and, of course, time theft. And unfortunately for Andrew, he got fired for that. Allegedly. I took my butt across the street to Burger King because I didn't want no McDonald's. Got my food, came back to the truck. The regional manager was standing in front of the truck. Said what's up to him. Asked him how he was doing. He said not good because uh, Andrew been still in time. So, you know, we had a conversation and long story short, he told me to pack my stuff up, clock out, and, and go home. But initially, it was up in the air whether or not Andrew was going to lose his job. But since we know now that he lost his job for time theft, it kind of seems bizarre how that all unfolded. Of all things to get fired for, getting a number nine at the Burger King isn't something that anybody would imagine losing their job over, honestly. It's pretty common for truck drivers to park their trucks and get food. I mean, what is the big deal? That's just something that is, you know, normal. I mean, come on now, like, let's be for real. Now, granted, I do understand that he was on duty, being paid hourly, and he went to get food, but he wasn't even out of the truck for 10 minutes for them to claim that he stole time. Now, me coming from Schneider, who also pays their employees hourly on duty, there is a policy in their handbook that says that if you do decide to pursue your own personal interests, you must be off duty. However, somebody in Andrew's comment section suggested the same thing. If you went off duty, they can't accuse you of time theft. In which he replies, if he were to go off duty, they still would have fired him. So the whole argument about him stealing time kind of falls apart if he was just going to get fired regardless. Now, personally, I think it's way deeper than him stealing time. I think that uh, people at his job were jealous of him and enough people complained to his boss, Mr. Charlie, before Mr. Charlie decided to finally pull the trigger and fire him. But all this is just my opinion. All this is just speculation. Now, one thing I do want to bring up is this. Uh, Andrew is a public figure, a YouTuber. He's been on this platform for about 10 years now. He is well known in the trucking community. And I think that a lot of these trucking companies, not all of them, of course, they're not very fond of YouTubers making content about trucking, especially their company. Uh, a lot of these trucking companies, they want you to gatekeep and, you know, keep a as much information to yourself about their company as possible whether it be positive or negative publicity they don't want any type of publicity coming their way or you know they can fire you now Andrew refrained from ever mentioning the name of his company but like I said he's a public figure and he's pretty open about posting his pay stubs uh, his stock market portfolio his YouTube checks etc and Eventually, somebody did come across his YouTube channel because they were able to figure out that he owned three trucks. Let's take a look at that. It, it all comes back to this YouTube thing. So so even though it wasn't you guys that got me fired, uh, I do believe this YouTube is, uh, this YouTube is uh, what kind of took me down. And the reason why I say that, my lead driver had came up to me and he had asked one day, he said, uh, man, so I hear you got three trucks. 
they able to deduce that he was a fleet owner without coming across his YouTube channel? I think that they were just jealous of chasing Andrew Jackson for whatever reason, and they wanted to see him gone. I think this was a witch hunt. And honestly, I'm surprised the fact that these people who knew that Andrew had a YouTube channel, they never actually commented the name of this trucking company in his comment section, although he probably filters his comments, which is a different story, I digress. The point of the matter is, this is the most ludicrous thing ever to get fired over because Andrew was pretty competent you know he came to work he was always on time uh he never had any accidents he never had any spills he never had any cross drops i mean he did do some weird stuff like put air tags in his slip sleep driver's truck but hey you know what different story i digress it's been two weeks since he's lost his job and he has since filed for unemployment through the department of labor in tennessee and a couple days ago, he released a video entitled The Real Reason Why Andrew Got Fired, in which he confirms why he was fired because Andrew was known for trolling his audience, so a lot of people didn't actually believe that he was fired for getting a number nine at Burger King. But the Tennessee Department of Labor clarifies this. Let's take a look. The claimant was discharged from his slash her most recent work because violation of the break lunch policy i don't know what that is never seen it never heard of it been trucking nine years can't tell you nothing about it okay well guys there you have it now as for whatever the lunch break policy is i looked this up on google and i couldn't find anything meaningful of course now here's what i was able to find uh, if a person takes uh I'm sorry, if a person works six consecutive hours, they are entitled to a 30-minute break at least. So this policy obviously would apply to truck drivers. However, given that truck drivers are under federal HOS, if a truck driver were to burn their eight-hour drive clock, they are entitled to a 30-minute DOT break, whether it be on duty or off duty. But the issue is with fuel haulers, Nine times out of ten, they're not driving for eight consecutive hours because the job does involve physical labor, and that physical labor counts as, you know, taking a 30-minute DOT break that doesn't involve driving. So technically, fuel haulers can work 14 hours without actually taking a break to pursue their own self-interest. Now, in the case of Andrew, he worked from 3 p.m. to 3 a.m., so he probably only had time to get food early in his shift because, you know, it gets busy, restaurants close at a certain time, so what else was he supposed to do? It gets crazy out here sometimes, but unfortunately, that costed his job. Now, my question for all you truck drivers out there, what would you do if you were in this situation? Getting fired from a job, especially during this time of year, is devastating, it's ruinous, given that it's the holiday season, given how bad the economy is, what would you do in this situation? Especially if you're somebody that lives paycheck to paycheck. Now, fortunately for Andrew, he'll be all right because he lives frugally, he saves his money, he invests in the stock market, he's good to go. But of course he has to file for you know unemployment benefits until he actually finds employment or he fires back his authority, whichever comes first. That's not something that's feasible for everybody considering that unemployment benefits don't generally pay as much as a regular job of course but andrew's story should serve as a cautionary tale have an emergency fund live frugally you know have three to six months of expenses but unfortunately most truck drivers live paycheck to paycheck so how is it even feasible to have three to six months of savings and expenses it's damn near impossible and honestly, I just think it's terrible and scary that for any reason, your boss can fire you no matter how silly it is, no matter how crazy the situation may be, you can be without a job and be down bad like Andrew, but he's okay. Would you be okay? Now, let me know in the comments down below. How do you feel about Andrew losing his job? Do you think it's justified to get fired for getting food while on duty? Do you think he should have gotten a warning? Let me know in the comments down below. 
You guys are the best audience on the internet. And if you enjoy videos like this, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. I'm Taja Woods, and I'll see you next time.